new What's Up back again today with what I think, to be honest with you, JP and I, I'm not sure what's going to happen today with this bat. Uh, this is a series, or part of this series, that we're going to call Retro Bats. We're going to try to take and hit old bats, see what happens on the hit tracks, exit velocities, distance. And to be honest with you, I'm not sure what's going to happen with this bat. I was telling JP uh, before we clicked the video on that I had this bat. I think this bat is from 1992. I think it's from 92. I could be wrong about that. But the really, only reason I say that is because I had the Little League version of this bat. When I was nine, this black and gold TPX, uh, I was nine in 1992. So it's right around there. Funny thing about this and the people that are watching this video that are my age will remember after this bat, I had a similar model to this bat. Uh, it was teal. And it had a powerized end. And everybody hit bombs with that bat. We need to try to find that bat. So if you had that bat, I'll put my shipping address below and you can send it to me. Um, well, like always, we're going to see, we're, hopefully this bat doesn't break with my crazy bat speed. Uh, <laughs> but uh, like always, we're going to try to hit bombs. We're going to try to hit the ball as far as we can and hopefully, hopefully not suck too bad. So. I'm going to get loose, which may take a little while after the long weekend. It's Memorial Day. I'm wearing my Never Bunt flag trucker hat. So, long weekend. I did absolutely nothing. And so, get my old man body loose, and I'll see you back in the cake. underload bat and hopefully it throws me some reasonable pitches make sure the hit tracks hopefully the hit tracks is working yeah first swing of the day that's pretty good for me usually it's out of time and out of whack and what's that well, 84 piece on the barrel. This could be good. This could be good. This bat today, though, I I have no idea what's going to happen. No idea. We'll talk about it more when we get to it, but no clue. It may break. It's an oldie. 92-ish. I mean, that's 30 years next year. This bat's 30 years old. I'm not even sure they had bat specs back then. Ball. Couple with each bat and then we will try to hit some nukes. This may be the worst bat of all time. I don't know. It may have no juice. It may have tons of juice. We'll find out soon enough. Little two strike piece. The what? Oh, we lost the hit tracks? Imagine that. Let's pause this. Uh, we'll get back at it. Eighty four with the long bat is reasonably promising though. So hopefully this bat from 1992 that I got into my DeLorean and went back and got um, will have some juice in it. Let's one, we'll go one more with the short bat. One more. Mm, 
My swing feels good today, though. One, a couple of light bath. This is a drop eight, true uh, T2X. Uh, we have all the true demos. Um, I think true is coming out with some new bats that we may, that will definitely demo. I like those guys, and I like what they're doing. I'm going to go a little couple underload swings and then, and then get going. Miss that one. Bull Rider, we're making YouTube videos, buddy. What's up? Huh? All right, you got to be quiet, though. Okay, you can't shoot basketball right at the moment. Timing issues, imagine that. Bull Rider, don't dribble that basketball. Hold on to it before your dad kills you. I had some ideas about my timing problems, so trying out some new feels here today. One more, 83, 84. Have to get more juice than that. That was a barrel though, it was a barrel. All right, here we go. The bat from 19, we're gonna call it 1992. This is a 33, 29, a drop four, before I think they had specs on bats. Two and three quarter inch barrel. I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't know what's gonna, this thing may break and dent on the first swing. I may hit it 125 miles an hour also. We're gonna see, we're gonna see what happens. Wish me luck. <sighs> Pretty solid. It got in on me. Threw me a two seamer. Timing felt good though. Gotta get that thing up in the air. Am I on? I should be on. Yeah, there we go. Whoa! That was a good pitch too. And I was on time. I just missed it. No juice. We'll see. Well, I'm pulling the ball, just not with any kind of authority. 66 mile an hour back speed though. That's promising. 84, okay. My peak with BB core is 95 with the, with the Easton B5. Ooh, that's not terrible. That's a little off the handle. 90, 89.5. Okay. Ah, God. I'll tell you this. This thing will wring the crap out of your hands. Woo! I was going to make that point. One thing I was short of, this thing was going to, this thing was going to sting your hands if you didn't hit it on the barrel. Much, much more than a bat wheel now. So you guys that are my age, 40-ish, that played in high school, at this time, bless your heart. That's a backside double for the good guys. We don't want any of that, though. We need some pull side. Man, whew, I think my hands are still ringing. We cut off again. The hit tracks computer just does not want to agree today. Stop that. Stop that. Here, this bat. Computer. Nobody's buying this bat. Ooh. My timing is better today, though. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you that. I just have to catch one on the barrel. Ooh, that's good. What's that? 92.3? It's a grounder. The ground ball monster's back again with my four attack angle. I'll take it though. The guys in the gym let me know about it too. I'd be shamed, shamed, shamed if I don't hit this ball up in the air. Ooh. My bat speed's good today though. That was only two degrees up. 
Huh, that didn't feel like two degrees up, but data doesn't lie. Barrel, 92 barrel, 92 something barrel. I'll be honest, I'm not sure if this bat's got much more in there than that. <laughs> Out of timing. A little bit off the end, but didn't sting. Towards the handle, whoo, hello. What? Come on, something hard. That's just a two strike emergency hack because I'm 14 days late in getting my foot up in the air. Oh yeah. At 21, no, that's a double. That pitch was up. I told you the other day that balls in the air, if I can get to them, are the ones, or balls up in the zone that I can get to are the ones that I'm going to, to be able to do some damage with because as you get older, your mobility is not as good. And I am no exception to that rule. My mobility is not great. We can go into the technical aspect of that, but we're keeping these videos very very entertainment at purposes only. Just me trying to hit the ball as hard and far as possible. Was my best? 92? I gotta swing harder. I told Mike, Mc Mike McCary, Lackawanna Juco, he said if you have, if he was on Twitter one day talking about if there are any outliers out there that have these crazy skills, uh, like you don't, like you don't walk anybody ever, or you never strike out, send me a DM. We're interested in you. And I tweeted him back and I said, I only struck out six times in high school. D can I play for you? And he responded, I'll check with my compliance. You ask your wife just in case it's a yes. He's such a cool dude. They hit homers. He was on Twitter a few days ago. They, they got a little carried away in their homer celebration. But my point is, I can find the barrel. I can hit the ball. I just sometimes it's not in the most optimal fashion or in the right time because I don't hit a lot. It's the first time I've hit since we did the last video. I had to let the body rest. Whoa! What is that? 89? This bat, I, this bat, I'm telling you, that felt good. 67 barrel speed at 14 degrees up. In today's bats, that ball, that ball's at least three or four miles an hour harder on that barrel speed. And then if you get that barrel speed with the, with the green goat, hello, that ball went a long way. 85. Look at my attack angles though, 17 degrees up. <sighs> Timing, 61, bat speed. I gotta get over 70, see what happens. Maybe over 70 with a barrel. <sighs> Timing. Timing. I probably got six or seven more. Mmm, that felt good. 69 bat speed. Getting up there. I gotta catch a barrel on a 70 though. Oh, that was terrible. My back's starting to bark at me too. Hey old man, quit what you're doing. You're not, I'm not cut out for this anymore. <laughs> And you know what? He's probably right. But we got to give the people what they want. We got to give the people what they want, which is homers, which is homers. All right, time went up. Oh, timing just in on my hands. Didn't, didn't make square contact, so it didn't ring me up too bad. Ooh. 
I think that was a splitter out of the machine. <laughs> Just trying to find the barrel. I'm going to hit one good one. I'm going to hit one good one, and I'm going to be done with this bat. My bat speeds are pretty good, and I got 92, 93 with this bat. <sighs> Miss hit it. Bull Rider, you out here, buddy? Okay. Okay. Come on, one good barrel up in the air. Out of time and 90. That's 61 bat speed. That's what, that's what hitting on the barrel does for you. The machine's got to be almost out of balls, too. Oh, that's it right there. 93.4. That's as good as I can do. Woo! All right, I'll be back in just a minute. All right, that is the first episode of the Retro Bat series. No one's going to buy this bat. To be honest, it wasn't. It wasn't that hot, um, but it's from 1992, and so I guess they did the best they can. Um, 93.4 on the last swing, best I did today, um, and that's all. I don't have much to say about this bat. It doesn't need a review uh, because you're not going to buy it. Uh, this was just going. This is just going to be a fun project to where we're going to try to find as many old bats as we can from. The 90s would love to have the, the old black magic. Would love to have the old, I did the new school green bat. Love to have the old school green bat. Uh, and then you get into the 2000s era BSR, which someone on TikTok told me that there's a couple of the 2000s era BSRs that are really, really hot. So hopefully we can get our hands on those and not pay thousands of dollars on eBay. Because when I looked on eBay, these things sell for a lot. A whole lot and so I don't know why but I guess people are nostalgic and, and and like them so anyway be sure to go grab a a never bunt flag hat from the merch shop the link will be in the description below uh, make sure you subscribe to the videos so that you get the notifications make sure you leave a comment below how and how trash you think my swing is um, so that's it that's a wrap thanks for watching <laughs>